Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining. We're going to jump right in today. I have a 20 inch by 16 inch deep edge canvas. We're going for like a triple split Dutch pour. I have taken a charcoal pencil and just marked out my potential composition and my change. Um, and I've put my colors down where I want them. I'll go over the colors with you guys now really quick. For the three different base colors, they're all mixed with the Titanium Light Buff our Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. This is the standard series. So the first section here we're going to throw down has that Titanium Buff Light with a few drops of turquoise, uh, Phthalo Turquoise by Golden Fluid Acrylics. It's this here. So just a couple, I think I put like maybe four drops and I got this. So the Titanium Buff Light and the Phthalo Turquoise Golden Acrylics fluid acrylics gave me this and this has my pouring medium mixed in check the description box below for all that info then we'll go the middle section I have again the titanium buff light and I put in a squirt of dioxazine purple liquitex acrylic ink and that gave me this nice color here it's like a lavender so these are all really soft pastel colors. And this color here is the Titanium Buff Light mixed with the Golden Fluid Acrylics Cobalt Turquoise. So if, again, a few drops of that, like maybe four drops. Little goes a long way. And I got this gorgeous color here. All right. Now I have to make sure I have enough paint on here because we're working up with a deep edge canvas so we want to be able to cover the edges. If you don't cover them you can always paint them. I usually touch them up after I'm done painting. And let's go here. Hopefully we have enough there. Let's see. 
Okay, now for the movement in this Dutch part, I want it to go just all going forward. So up on the canvas. So I don't want to have the petals coming down this way. I just want all the movement to go this way and this way. So you'll see how I blow, blow, try and blow this out now. All right, so let's go. I'm going to pop some air bubbles holding my hair dryer up high. Okay, so I'm going to start down here and work this, and then we'll come here and work that. At first I was a little sketchy, but um, I don't know, I kind of like it, so I really like the movement and how it just flows. And, um, I will clean up the edges, make sure everything's covered nice and neat, and scrape the drips, and we'll bring you guys down. 